from your weather authority. Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Good to be back with you. We're taking you into G-Town in the West County here <clears throat> where the snow band is coming through. So you got the tracks on the street, U.S. Highway 20, Main Street and Girard just kind of covered up right now as the snow continues to fall and the traffic continues to move along. So uh, it, it comes and it goes, it snows and it blows. That's our theme for tonight. Now uh, this young lady measuring snow with dad in Cory got the yardstick. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we, I mean, we, it's it's beautiful thing. We always train our weather watchers young, and if you're in the snow belt, we're really happy to have you. I think your name is Perseus. Thank you so much. And this guy's name is Liam. Look at this. He's got the perfect in implement to make perfect snowballs in this wet, slushy snows. He, he sent me another picture. He just lined them all up just the, down the railing of the deck there. Kids having fun in the snow. Good stuff. Uh, Storm Tracker showing that band coming right on to Girard and now sinking into southern Erie County and into uh, across Chautauqua County and now into northwest Warren County. So good burst going on right here across Erie County. Visibilities are lowering as that band moves through and they're moving through Springboro, approaching Cambridge and Venango and uh, Conneaut Lake right there. Uh, out into Warren, a good band up to the north and east of Warren, Scandia, Allegheny Reservoir. So there's the, the nature of the snow, and this is the back edge because you can see west towards Cleveland and Detroit, it's all over with. So this will be winding down after midnight and towards dawn. We've got the latest totals, about five inches along the lake shore, <clears throat> but you can see the sweet spot here, uh, southwest Chautauqua, across southern Erie, a lot of Crawford and even down into Mercer County there where you're getting uh, 10 inches or more. Uh, some, as Sean said, around 16 right now. So lesser amounts with the advisory along the lakeshore in the pink. That's the warning. That's the sweet spot. And again, if you add another five inches to some of these totals, some spots could be approaching 20 to 24 inches by the time it's said and done. Now, the gradient shrinks real quickly as you go to the lakeshore. In fact, uh, one of the viewers says, I'm down by Route 5. I can still see the grass uh, uh, through the snow. So all depends where you are, what you get. Uh, some heavier amounts out in Warren County as well. Now in Erie, the reason it didn't really accumulate all that much, 37 and 33, the temperature has stayed above freezing. So your weather headlines down to nine hours, 20 minutes of daylight, pesky overnight snow, improvement tomorrow, and milder, at least back to normal for the rest of the week. And you can see uh, ranging from 34 down by the water to all 30 or below across Edinburgh and Corey and Warren, Titusville, and down to Meadville and Jamestown, PA. So there's the back edge. It's gonna to try to clear by tomorrow morning. And then we can go into some sunshine as we go through the day. And this is how it happens. And it may even happen according to this model by morning where most of the snow is moving out to the east and the cloud line is breaking there. So as you go through your Wednesday, improving but still cool. And then the winds start to blow out of the south. Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then you get back some sunshine and some nice weather uh, on Thursday as well. 27 to 33 again, an inch to maybe three inches uh, north of 90. Uh, three, we'll probably cut that to five additional on the belts uh, by morning to what you have already. Some light snow possible early, then some sun, upper 30s to low 40s. Tomorrow night, just clear to partly cloudy and dry, 26 to 32. And on the extended, there's the nice day Thursday. Friday's not bad, maybe a late day shower. A couple showers possible Friday night, early Saturday. And then another system may bring some later day mix to snow Sunday, Sunday night into early next week. That's seven day, all the radars, detailed forecast and maps available on the weather page at yourerie.com. More for you later in the show. Sean? All right, thanks, Tom.